Welcome back. Things have slowed down a little bit over the last um, week with COVID-19 as the incidence of cases have slowed down across the country, as well as with our own personal lives. We're trying to get back to our new normal with our kids and family. So things have slowed down in our posts online and some of our feeds as well. We started to do some new social media um, development, and so that will be rolling out over the next several weeks as well. So be, be looking for that. We started this journey back with everybody in January, mainly in response to people asking us questions, asking us about COVID-19, what is this thing going on, and just asking my personal professional opinion about things. So I started to research it and to just delve into it. But what I'd like to do at this point in time is kind of refocus back on resilience. How do we make ourselves strong enough so that we can withstand the storms of life, stressors, regardless of what they may be? Of course, we're going to continue to talk about coronavirus because that's going to be around for a while through the fall into next year, most likely as well. But we want to have a more balanced approach and not to be all COVID all the time, 24-7, which is what it feels like it's been over the last several months. However, the, the events of the last couple of weeks have kind of helped refocus us, um, especially with the plight of a lot of people in our country, the stresses as well as the social inequity and the general chaos that's going on right now in many of our um cities across the country. Talking more about COVID-19, it just, it just rings really hollow right now. Um, as we do focus on resilience, COVID matters, but justice and equality matter as well. And for many in our country, justice and equality matter more than COVID, more than social distancing, more than face masks, and more than phased um, re-entry into society. Going forward, there are still concerns about COVID, and I don't want to ignore that. But at the same time, we need to focus on other concerns that are probably right now more important in our country, like justice and equality. There's a lot of social unrest, and we all see that. We all feel it. It's affecting us, our family. It's affecting everybody around us. I haven't talked to anybody yet that it's not, it's not affecting. And this uncertainty in the world just emphasizes more the need for a holistic approach to our health care, a holistic to us individually, to our families, but also to our communities, our society, our culture, and our country at large. Um, we'd like to provide you and your family the tools that will allow anyone to access this kind of health care and this kind of information. That's the reason why our podcasts on our website are free, the um, food plans and the downloads on our website are free, as well the access to high-grade supplements are all discounted. We want to make this as accessible to anybody who wants to have access to this kind of care as well to access to the information to build up the resiliency. We are all in this together more than ever, and we want to be there in the way, in the, in the way we can, which is to help individuals maximize their health and their health of their families and to help us get through this together. As always, if this information is helpful, please share it with your family and friends. The only way to get good information out there right now is to share it. There's too much Everything's being drowned out by everything, whether it's COVID-19, whether it's everything else. And we just need to um, reach out to our communities we have, the people we already have contact with to share information, but to be there for each other. And ultimately, as a community, to help build the resilience of each other. That's my goal. That's going to be the shift of our focus going forward. And hopefully this will be helpful to not only our family, which it has been, because we've been working on resilience for over a decade, uh, but also for you and your friends and our country at large. We need this now more than ever. Um, we need to be in this together now more than ever, and we need to have an individual, community-focused, um, societal, and ultimately countrywide focus on what's going on. Take care.